Welcome back to Max Garage. Today I'm going to show you how to install some headlight adjusters in this 1985 Ram Charger. As always, if you like what you see, hit the like, share, subscribe, throw a comment down below. All that stuff helps uh, with the algorithm that I don't really understand, but I know that stuff helps. So anyway, back to the headlight adjusters. If you have a um, if you have a Chrysler, Plymouth, or Dodge product from about 1977 to 1993, there's a fairly good chance it has this style of headlight adjuster back behind the headlight bucket. The part number for that is 42188, and that is a Dorman part. Now the unfortunate thing about this Dorman part is right here, and you're not gonna be able to see it, is this says China on it, which means that it is utter trash and you have to be very careful installing it or it will break. This is what happened, well, hold on, let's do it in the other order. This is what happens if you attempt to install them without heat. The ears snap back and uh, it doesn't work. I'm going to send this back. I strongly encourage you to send these back as defective parts because the only way companies figure out that they are making trash is to actually have to pay for them. Now this is only 10 bucks. It's really, um, it's really probably easier to just throw them away and not worry about 10 bucks. But this is what happens if you don't get them hot enough. This is what happens if you get them too hot and it's probably hard to see what's going on but these are winged out too far and it's a little bit melty. So too cold, too hot. So as you can probably tell, there's a heating process involved here. Um, there may be other products that also fit this, but these are the only ones I have found so far. And having quite a few of this body style Dodge truck, I need to learn how to use them. And I'm gonna show you what I've figured out so far. So let's get the camera into a better spot. All right, so back underneath this headlight assembly, what I've got is a spring, and then I've already installed this adjuster, and then there's one more adjuster up here at the side, at the top. Uh, the surround for the headlight, the headlight bucket has already been removed. Chances are, if you are replacing these, then it broke, and you're gonna be able to remove that stuff pretty easily anyway. Um, or you'll take this off and everything else will just fall out. So the key to this is a little bit of heat. Now I have a multi-temperature heat gun. I run it on its highest setting. So I'm gonna go ahead, let that warm up for a minute. Hopefully you can hear me over the sound of this. And what I'll do is I will heat each side of this for about five seconds. Do each side twice, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And now this should be warm enough that I'm going to be able to just take it and push it into its spot where it will kind of lock. Okay, again, this is Chinese garbage. So you have to just kind of make it work. So up inside of here, I'm gonna take a pick and then I will take and actually push the tabs out to the side, which you may have just heard that one snap into place. And now it's actually locked in and that will actually stay. This is the best option you've got right now, at least the best option I could find for these clips. So that's about the right amount of time. You may be able to heat them just a touch less. Um, this one went really nice. This one I think I may have gotten just a touch too warm, so maybe a short five count. Now after we've got these installed, we go ahead and uh, I install them with the screw because it gives you a good handle. Pull the screw out. And now I'm going to take my headlight assembly. And these are going to, actually this is made to fit either side. So we've got a, 
uh, spring hole on both sides and then we've got adjusters at the top and both sides. For the passenger side, which I'm working on right now, we will take the, and they don't fit at all. Again, cheap Chinese garbage. So I will grab the original screws, which are not in their plastic anymore. They drop right into place because they're not cheap Chinese trash. And uh, I'll go ahead and I will put the spring through its hole. I will bring the screws up. I like, I started the outside first. And then after this, uh, I can go ahead and reassemble the headlight and everything will go back together and be nice as far as that goes. Um, this one, the spring may be a little bit sprung, so I may have to do a little bit of work there. Typically that is not an issue. Um, but anyway, it's now ready to actually be adjustable. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Again, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you later.